But if you add a third horse into the mix, something a bit strange happens. So just an example, a very simple one. Um, let's suppose we have two horses. We have one which half the time does well, half the time does badly. On the day, you don't know which it's going to be. And you have the second horse, which is a bastion of reliability. Every single race, exactly the same performance. On average, over lots and lots of races, they've got the same kind of performance, because the top one, on, on average, that will cancel out. And in a race, um, it'll be a, essentially a 50-50, because it completely depends in a race whether the top horse, number one, is having a good day or a bad day. So if these two horses race against each other, it's basically a coin toss. It's a 50-50 chance, because if the top horse is having a good day, he's going to win. If he's having a bad day, he's going to lose. But if you add a third horse into the mix, something a bit strange happens. So let's suppose we have a third horse here, which some days performs slightly better than the middle horse, some days perform slightly worse. So again, on average, all these horses have the same performance. Now, just sort of take a look at what's going on here. All these horses, on average, have identical performance, but it's the variability that's different. And actually, the top horse, because it's most variable in this kind of race, has a larger chance of winning.